Okay, really all you need here is your bicycle wheel, some bike wash, I like to use the WD-40 bike bike wash, um, a brush, um, I'm using a bottle brush, and an old rag, an old dirty t-shirt, works pretty well. So, I'm gonna start off by just spraying the bike wash on my cassette. Spray the bike wash on there. I'm going to use this t-shirt. I'm just going to use this t-shirt to get between each cog. I'm going to use this back and forth motion to get in between there. Right? Now, the dirtier your wheel is, the more you're going to have to do this. Okay, so this wheel and this cassette was not all that dirty, but if it's a little dirtier, one thing we might also do besides use the t-shirt, spray it again, and then get after it with this brush. Again, this is just a bottle brush you buy at the grocery store. I find it works really well. If you need to, you can use a, uh, a purpose-built brush Many companies make them, many bike companies make them. The bottle brush, I find, works really well. So that's pretty clean. Now I'm gonna get some water. You can use water from a watering can, from a water bottle. You can use a uh, water hose, whatever you want. Rinse it all off. Just don't use a high pressure spray nozzle that forces too much water into the internals of the hub. There we go. Looks great. Now it would also be nice to have a nice, clean, shiny rim. I'm just gonna use this same bike wash. This uh, WD-40 foaming bike wash is great. It's safe on your carbon, it's safe on your tires. I do try to keep from getting any kind of cleaner or lubricant on the uh, disc brake disc because it'll cause some squealing and uh, it, it might, the braking performance might be a little off. But uh, usually, as long as you wash it off with water, it's not too bad, but I still try and keep getting contaminated. So now that I've washed, got the rim with my foaming bike wash, I'm just going to wipe the whole thing down. You can get the individual spokes as well. Alright, just use that t-shirt and wipe it all down. Depending on how dirty your wheel is, again, you may want to go in after each individual spoke. You might want to go in on the center of the hub. And there we go, nice and clean.